I'll tell you one area of work that's that really becomes redundant is the process of not only creating your graphics but working with your flash files within a website because whenever you're in the flash environment you have to re uh publish your file as an SWF file bring it back into your website upload it see how that works if it doesn't work redo it so uh, Dreamweaver now has a great round trip process that I want to introduce you to. All right, let's go into our library and open up that flash quote. Okay, you can do that from your files area. You can also go to your assets, library, and double click on the flash quote. All right, at this point, let's talk about some flash, how you use flash files. Now, you could hit play. Okay, by hitting play, now it won't find the XML file, so it just shows you default containers of what this was going to look like. I can hit stop. Okay, I can at any time resize this quote bar. So if I hit play, that's what it looks like. Okay, I can reset it back to the original size. So you got a couple of really cool options. This is one of the best features right here, where it says source. Okay, now. Ideally, this would be on your local server, but I went ahead and posted this on the server itself so you can play with it. But this would be like on your C drive or on your network file storage in your uh, office or school. All right. All I did was say my source file is right here. This is the FLA file, the uncompressed all of the layers file. Now watch. I just hit edit. Okay. It's going to verify where is that file that we want to work with. Okay, so I'm going to go to my sites folder. And again, this can be anywhere that you want it to be. Okay, reconnect it. Now it opened up Flash for me. So I'm I'm inside of the Flash environment. At this point, I can go in and do some tweaks. So let let's uh unlock that content uh, layer there. And I have it set to white. I'll go ahead and pick an orange. Maybe make that bold. Okay. Um, I can go to my artwork layer. Maybe I want to change the um, change the uh, outer border instead of a solid line to a dashed line. Okay. All I have to do, instead of hitting save and publish and recreate, all I have to do now is hit done. It's going to recompress republish this file it's now take a look ready to go and what's beautiful is if I close this okay say yes I want to save it update all of my library pieces okay and let's take a look at one of these files here so I'll just jump over to my files and we'll open up um, the index page And let's preview this. You can see it instantly made that change. So before that, it didn't look like that. So that's how powerful that round trip process is. What's beautiful is you can do that with even your graphics. Okay, so let me, um, we'll just update that. We can take this graphic, and when we choose Edit in Fireworks, Oops, it hit it again. Let me hit that fireworks. It's going to give you the option to say, okay, do you want to use a PNG file or do you want to use this file? Well, if I had a PNG file, I would have all my layers, all my settings. I can link to that file. I can just choose this, link to my original file, okay, which is amazing. So I'll just hit cancel instead. It's going to, by default, pick up this original file. I can now go in do any of my tweaks that I want, add layers, remove layers, add text, modify my text, and when I'm done, I just hit done. It will reset all those savings, bring it in, and, oops, my system's low on memory because I've got all this stuff open. There we go. And uh, it will bring in your graphics compressed, mind you, not just thrown in as a high compressor. It will look at the original compression, recompress. It's very, very incredible. It's a fast way of making uh, making short work of some of that work.